one of the men that has impacted my development as a man was my football coach from high school, Coach Bob Gregg. Coach Gregg, who to this day, he came through the door and told me to drop down and, and give him 20, I'd do my best, was about five foot six and found himself coaching a team uh, from a high school that had 300 students total, 300. That was from the 10th grade to the uh, uh, 12th grade, boys and girls, 300. And all that he did was that over a period of time uh, of nine years was to create the longest uh, undefeated high school uh, uh, football record in the state of Ohio. We started off my sophomore year. Uh, we went undefeated through my three years in, in high school, my uh, middle brother's uh, uh, three years in high school, and finally lost in my uh, youngest brother's senior year. The way he did it was he took a, a group of misfits, small guys, undersized guys, and he filled us with such a, uh, a, a level of expectation. We did not expect to lose. When we took, a f took the field, our assumption was that we were coming there to whip whoever it was that we were uh, uh, playing against. We played against schools that had uh, populations of, of 1,000, 1,200. Here we were, a little school of 300. And when we came to town, and again, I, I attribute it all to the, the attitude that Coach Greg set, and that was that all through practice, there was a sense of you belong to something. You have to represent something. Everyone is expected to carry his weight. And so as a result, when you made the football team at Jefferson uh, uh, Township uh, High School in Dayton, Ohio, the young kids in middle school would be in the buses watching us go out to practice and would be like cheers going up. And so if you can imagine this little school producing a dynasty that went for nine years of not being beaten and it can be attributed just to one man's attitude that he was raising up young boys who did not believe that they could lose. My hat's off to Coach Greg.